We welcome you to Sea Planning Christian Church, located in Greensboro, North Carolina, where the pastor is Pastor Bobby L. Mack, preaching a powerful message that will definitely bless your heart and soul, along with his wife, Evangelist Amita D. Mack. Yes, this church is located at 3304 Spring Garden Street in Greensboro. Their services is every Sunday at 11 a.m. and Bible study at 730 on Thursday night. Yes, if you're looking for a church that's definitely planted and rooted in the Word of God, Seed Planting Christian Church is a church you need to come to. For prayer, more information about this powerful church, call them at 336-676-7396. Seed Planting Christian Church, 3304 Spring Garden Street in Greensboro. Yes, now get ready for an awesome word of God from Seed Planting Christian Church. Yes, get ready for the word. Um, we're going to just get back into um, our study on spiritual warfare. But I, before I go into it, I want to let you all know that the church is asleep. Mm -hmm. The church is asleep. Mm -hmm. And... You know, there was a time uh, before when the church was asleep and they just took prayer right on out of schools. Right. And, you know, right now the church is sleeping. But let me tell you something, that the enemy is going to and fro, and he is seeking whom he may devour. Amen. And we are so slumber and sleeping that we, are, we don't even know what time it is and what is going on. Mm -hmm. The Bible lets us know that in the last day that there will be a great falling away. Yes. And that men will be lovers of themselves more than lovers of God. Yes. Yes. And what is happening right now, people have gotten into the, uh, into the they are so caught up into this, this world system yes. Yes. until they, have, they are not even kingdom minded. Yes. They are so earthly minded, yes. so self conscious yes. until we don't even, we're not, we don't even think about the kingdom. Right. And while we're slumbering through, yeah. the enemy is going about yeah. doing mm -hmm. everything that he possibly can while we sleep. Right. But I want to, um, I'm going to get back into um, spiritual warfare tonight. And, you know, one thing that I, I'm learning and one thing that I've, come to realize is that we really have a real enemy. People, yes, we got a real enemy, yes, for real. Yes, yes. And then guess what? He wants your soul. Yes, he, he wants our souls. And not like some of us, he will go to any length or by any means necessary to get it. That's right. You know, so we, we, we need to understand this and stop thinking that, you know, that's just the way it is, and uh, this is this is why this is going. No, it's, it's a devil. Yes. We're we're coming against right. a real devil. Right. Now, last last week we talked about the four uh, spiritual realms of satanic activity, and those four realms were the heavenlies, the earthly realm, the undersea, and the underworld. And so tonight. We are going to go back into that because we are we were on the heavenlies. So we are going to, and I I I, I wish I had a I was trying to find a sword. I had saw a little play sword somewhere, and I was trying to find a sword because I wanted to try to demonstrate to you some some things that that is happening as we pray. But we are going back into, and I want to just go over here, the heavenlies. The heavenly, heavenlies is a higher plane in the spiritual realm of the heavens where there are thrones, dominions, principalities, powers, etc. Uh, where Satan, his higher ranks of angels, seek themselves. The heavenlies is a spiritual plane or dimension far, far below heaven. This spiritual realm is of darkness. Satan operates his evils from a level in the heavenlies to the underworld. Okay, now we went over how, you know, about Satan throwing him, wanting to be like Jesus and everything, you know. Uh, we talked about that. But I, what, I'm, what I want to talk to you tonight is um, I want to let you know that we are, we're not fighting against flesh and blood. I want we, us to understand that. 
It's not flesh and blood that we're fighting or we're coming against or coming against. It's not, it's not flesh and blood. We are warring against unseen forces. And the reason why you, you think it's your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brothers because you see them. But there's a force behind that that you don't see. You are. So this is why we are fighting a, 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 a spiritual warfare. And the only way that we can defeat this thing is going to be through yes. prayer mm -hmm. warfare. Right. I'm here to tell you. Um, <laughs> let me tell you, okay, let's go back to Daniel. And I want to talk a little bit about that. Uh, it, it had to be unseen spiritual forces of Satan behind the man, the prince of Persia, yes. that would even attempt to hinder Gabriel. Satan's power would never surpass the power of God. The prince of Persia was being ruled or governed by demonic and angelic forces of Satan. Behind the political realm or rulership of the prince of Persia was Satan's thrones and principalities. We know, of course, that there were also other satanic forces that operated upon the prince of Persia. However, Daniel broke through the realm of these satanic forces in the heavenlies through his prayers. Prayer warfare was loosed from the earth against Satan's forces, and Michael fought Satan's forces from the heavenlies. This, in turn, gave Gabriel free course. And I want you to listen to this, okay? It gave Gabriel free course to bring the message to Daniel of the prophetic revelation of Israel. Here is Daniel praying that God would give him a revelation for the nation of Israel. Now, when Daniel began to pray, Daniel's prayers begin to penetrate and it begin to go up through the heavenlies, up through where, the, where remember I was saying that it was dominions, powers, spiritual wickedness in the heavenlies. It began to go up into there and it began to cause Satan. It began to wrap <coughs> and move up there in the heavenlies. So when we pray, when we get down and pray, we penetrate. If this was, let me show you. And just imagine this microphone that I have is a sword. Okay? Imagine this. When I get down to pray, this is what happens. I am praying. And my prayers are going up. But they're going through that, that, that dark place into the heavenlies. And there are demons up there, but guess what? Satan, his angelic ranks are there, but guess what? My prayers are going through, and it's causing God's angelic ranks to wage war with Satan's angelic ranks to keep, to allow us to get a breakthrough, a push into our prayers. That's why them, now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep prayers, ain't gonna get it. Don't look. Uh, Lord, I just want to thank you for the day. Thank you for allowing me to wake up this morning and I just thank you, Lord, and go to sleep. Let me tell you, you ain't did nothing. You ain't penetrating nothing. You ain't causing nothing to happen. Listen at this. The ruling satanic forces behind the prince of Persia lost the battle. Praying God's word breaks Satan's opposition against you. That's right. It breaks it. You, you, let me tell you how powerful and how, how uh, uh, important prayer is. And Satan knows this. Mm -hmm. When they, it, you got about, you call for prayer meeting and about two or three people show up. Because he don't want you to come pray. No. A praying church is a powerful church. Yes. That's right. Amen. Don't you know? Oh God. Don't you know if you have a church and that church is praying and it is bombarding heaven and it is causing things to happen, there are certain things that won't be able to come into that church. Right. But if they're not praying, 
The only thing they doing is just, you know, they getting up and have some singing and have, you know, no prayer going on. You're not no threat. You're not no threat to the devil. Because the way we defeat him, we defeat him through the word. And when we begin to pray, and don't just pray the word of God. We are to pray the word of God. Okay. Okay. Look at this. <clears throat> Let's look again at what Gabriel stated to Daniel. Um, Daniel 10, the 10th chapter, and I'm just going to read the 11th through the 14th verses. And when you all get it, just say amen, because I want you to go with me here. Okay. 11, 10 and 11 said... And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Twelve says, Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. I want you to understand that God hears our prayers yes. when we live right. Amen. Now let me just throw that in there. Amen. Amen. I don't, you know, because some people think, you know, they can live any kind of way in God. No. The Bible says his ears are ever open unto the righteous. So he hears our prayers when we pray. But what happens is because we feel like God ain't heard us, we stop praying. We give up. And when we give up, don't you know what? The Bible said Daniel did not stop praying. He kept on for 21 days. He didn't hear. He fasted and he prayed until he heard something, till he got a word from God. We can't stop, y'all, because this is what the enemy comes to do, to try to discourage us, cause doubt and unbelief to come so that we stop praying. But God hears us, and what the enemy is trying to do is hold up the answer. Mm -hmm. So we got to keep on praying until we get an answer. Don't stop. Because a lot of times people, well, you know, I done prayed. I've been praying about this for two or three months. And ain't nothing happened yet. Well, you keep on praying. Amen. Keep on praying. I heard somebody say, um, that's what, you know, they pray until something happens. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to, we have to, Lord knows, we can't just give up, just stop. Because we don't see nothing. That's why God wants us not to be a, 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 a Christian that's that always looking in the natural for something. Um, 12, um, 13 says, But the prince of the king of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. How long did he pray? Twenty-one days. How long was it? Was it held up? Twenty-one days. Okay. You see? And sometimes, it would, because, look, God, here, oh, I'm trying, Lord knows I'm trying to get y'all to see this thing. This is a sword. The word of God is a sword. When we start praying the word, we're sending up the sword, okay? We're sending it up. We're sending up the word of God, and it's going to go through the heavenlies, and the enemy is going to try his best to stop the answer from coming, but when we continue to pray, it causes God's angelic ranks to wage war with Satan's angelic ranks. The sword, look at it in a natural sense, that sword is coming against those demons and causing those demons to move out the way. That's right. Amen. But when we don't pray or say nothing, mm -hmm. then we tie God's hand. We tie his hands. Because we're not, we're just, you know, we just give up. We just, God can't do nothing with doubt and unbelief. Nothing. He said, faith is what moves me. He says, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. 
14, now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days, for yet the vision is for many days. Daniel prayed for the prophetic revelation concerning the nation of Israel. That's what he prayed for. Now you got some, you, the, Satan, do not want this revelation to be given unto Daniel. He's trying to hold this revelation up. Satan knew that by Daniel knowing the prophetic revelation concerning Israel, it would block his satanic plots against Israel. Don't you know that when we begin to pray and we begin to ask God some things going on, we begin to seek the Lord and go before the Lord and the Lord begin, begin to give us understanding, it blocks the plots, the plans that Satan has. When we get the understanding. Say for instance that the enemy is coming against you. And it may be in your body. And you go before God. And you're praying. You're asking God for healing. Okay. God is sending the answer back. He's sending it back to you. He's sending. But because we don't see it today. Because you still got that pain. You still double up in pain. You don't. You, 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 you give up. You just stop praying. Well, I'm going to die like my grandma died. She had the same thing. No. No, we don't do that. You got to keep, look, Lord knows. We, we, you, we have to understand that we are coming against a demon, a devil. Yes. That does not want the blessing of God to be on our lives. He don't want us to walk in healing. He don't want us to walk in prosperity. He don't want us to walk in deliverance. And when we, and when we get word, when we get a word, we begin to understand. We get the understanding. Mm -hmm. When you begin to get the understanding, that's going to enlighten you, and it's going to be hard for Satan. He know that the plan ahead. Because that's what he's waiting on you to say. I'm going to die. I got the same thing with God. Now what you did, you just spoke that thing on yourself. That's right. God can't do nothing with that. Because the Bible says you should have whatsoever you say. And when you begin to say those things, and you begin to speak those things, the Bible lets us know that our word, they are spirit and they are life. And you just spoke death on yourself. We spoke it. And that's how the enemy get a lot of us. That's why God lets us know that we don't live by what we see. Because when we start looking at stuff in the natural, we're going to speak from the natural. And when we speak from the natural, we get from the natural. I'm telling you. It, 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 Lord knows it works. There is a strong satanic war that is taking place in the heavens to block the blessings of God's people. Let me tell y'all. There is, the enemy is fighting, he is coming against, whenever you begin to live, whenever you begin to walk, whenever you begin to talk according to the word of God, and you begin to live your life according to the word, you don't compromise, you don't allow certain things to go on because you need members or because you want to make sure you don't come against nobody's feelings and you don't offend, then let me tell you, the enemy, the devil, oh my God, he, his, his purpose is he want us, he, and he makes it look like, well, look, look, look at all them people they got over there. Uh -huh. Then you ain't hardly got nobody. Then maybe if you just kind of lighten up a little bit. Right maybe yeah. if you just kind of, you know, you, you, you need to just kind of, uh, you don't have to be so strict. And you don't have to be so, you just kind of lighten up. We can't lighten up. Right. We can't compromise. Right. We can't. Even if it means everybody leaving the church. That's right. Because 
Jesus, I'm telling you. We, Jesus is soon to come. Amen. He is soon to come. And there is such a great falling away from the body of Christ. People are giving up on God every day. Amen. Pastors are walking out of pulpits every day. We better find out and know what time it is and know that we need to get ourselves ready and we have to endure until the end. Amen. We're going to have to. Lord have mercy. This ain't no time to be giving up. Amen. This ain't no time to be backing up on God. My God. It is left up to us to fight Satan through major, major prayer warfare. Oh God, listen, listen, listen. They love the Lord and they in church, you know. 
So he doesn't want that. He does not want that. God's people must pray intensely for the battle to be won. When you pray, you are going through spiritual dimensions from the earthly realm through the heavens. There is, here is the earthly realm where we are right here. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to go through a spiritual realm. Then you're going to go through another spiritual realm. Then there's another spiritual realm. There's three spiritual realms you're going to go through. And then you're going to hit the, hev the heavenlies. Now, there is no way you can get down on your knees and say, I follow God in heaven. Hallelujah be that name. I thank you so much for this day. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that I got food to eat. I got clothes to wear. I thank you, Lord, for my family. They all healthy. Amen. You ain't even left the earthly realm. You ain't even left there yet. Hmm. It's going to take intense prayer. Yes. It's going to take some major prayer. Yes. Because you got to go through some dimensions. Yes. And see, let me tell you how I know people that are really praying is when the devil start coming against them with, with all fours. Because you have penetrated, you have just got up there into the heavenlies and that prayer that you're praying, it is beginning to shake his kingdom. Amen. And he know God is getting ready to reveal something. God is getting ready to bring an understanding. And look, when we get an understanding, it causes us to be able to see clearly and the enemy cannot but when you have no understanding, the Bible said we are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And the devil knows that. So why? Look at this place. They don't want no knowledge. We thank you so much for watching to see Planning Christian Church located in Greensboro, North Carolina. Well, the pastor is Pastor Bobby L. Mag, preaching a powerful message that will definitely bless your heart and soul, along with his wife, Evangelist Amita D. Mag. Yes, this church is located at 3304 Spring Garden Street in Greensboro. Their services is every Sunday at 11 a.m. and Bible study at 730 on Thursday night. Yes, if you're looking for a church that's definitely planted and rooted in the Word of God, Seed Planting Christian Church is a church you need to come to. For prayer, more information about this powerful church, call them as 336-676-7396. Again, thank you so much for watching this powerful message from Seed Planting Christian Church. And may God continue to richly bless you.